All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard Neal. This is Richard Reviews Children's Books, and today I have for you Black Duck and Water Rat by Percy Trazis and Mary Hedging Contitis, I think. I, I apologize for butchering your name. And this is another in a series I have been reading about the Aboriginal folk stories of Australians. This is the story of how the platypus came about. And uh, it does have a, a native wearing nothing but a belt and a headdress turning his back to you on the cover. That is the only image of its nature that you will see in this. And otherwise, this is a, a really beautiful, really beautiful book. I just, I love the illustration in this book. These are just so beautiful. The thing is, though, that you need to understand this is about a rat that kidnaps a duck and forces her to be his wife. And they do they do consummate the marriage. So, whereas that's not told very graphically, be conscious of the fact that this may lead to a lot of explaining strange things to your children. And again, the, the ducks are not terribly nice ducks in this story either. So, so there's that. I mean, this is one of those stories, like everything in this series, you really have to ask yourself, do I want to go down that road? This is one of those ones where you got to read it before you read it to your child. And there's a cat out there. Again, I enjoyed learning about this. I like stepping out of my common zone and learning about other cultures and learning that there was a time when, you know, the Aboriginal people of Australia thought of as the dream time, which was the time when the continents were moving, and, and that's when all the creatures came about, and so on and so forth. I enjoy all that sort of stuff, but I'm not a child, and I'm not a parent, and I don't know if I would be comfortable having my children exposed to this particular material at a young age. I don't know when I would be comfortable reading this to my kids. Now, grant, the kids have the internet nowadays, and they can get their hands on all kinds of really upsetting things. But, do you want your child Googling forced marriage and get, going down that path? That's a question, and I mean, at some point you, you may certainly want that. Again, this book falls under the concept of phrenology, so it's not considered uh, explicit or pornographic. It's merely, this is a story these people told. But it's just, it's one of those iffy points. I mean, every one of the books I've read on this series, very similar. You have to, well, do you really want your children to be exposed to this? It is a question only you as a parent can answer. I just have to put it out there and say, you know, this is, this is what's in the book. You need to make that decision. Anyway, uh, like I say, if you're an adult and you want to learn about this, this is a great book for it. It may be a little too salty for children. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. I'm Richard.